to part four of the YNJ interview with the Hip Hop Lab. How, how, how did you meet Rio? Louis Ray, Louis Ray brought me to him, you know what I mean? I always, always knew Rio, but I didn't know him at first, you know what I mean? Louis, that's like my brother, you know what I mean? For those who don't know, Louis Ray and Rio is real blood brothers. And I feel like that's how the uh, No Lean song came about. But we're going to let him talk. He brought me over there. We was in the um, we was in the studio for like three days. And we didn't record. I didn't re- get on get on the song. It was just, I was just chilling, listening to him record. I recorded like 10 songs every day for like four days straight. The, like the fourth day, we was in there. Rio asked me, like, you all right? I said, yeah, all right. He like, let me hear some shit. You know what I mean? I shot us some shit like hell yeah. You know, dropping some shit that night. We shot a video to it, that shit called No Lean. You know what I mean? I figured that's the song that he was talking about, because that's the first song I heard them on together. I knew who YJ was before No Lean, and I knew who Rio was, of course, before No Lean, but that was the first song I heard both of them on together. But that show you how real Rio is, man. Rio just let a nigga hop on a song with him. Oh, you rap? Get on this song. <laughs> like, that's just some real nigga shit, man. Like, they don't make niggas like that no more. No lean, you know what I mean? I be sick when I ain't got no lean, ay. What do you say? Uh, 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 I lost control. I've been fucking on your bitch, you done lost your hoe. That shit, man. Dude, that was crazy, that shit. Classic. That's, that's the first one we did together that way. Crazy, that shit, class. That's the first one we did together. That way, look back. You know what I mean? So, have you always had the flutters you got now? Like, like, like how did you used to rap? Are you all- Niggas need to go tap into that uh, that MVP. If y'all don't know nothing about YNJ MVP, go listen to that shit. I mean, they got to go check out my MVP album. I swear I didn't know he was finna say none of this shit. That's how y'all know I've been really fucking with his shit. I've been doing videos about him for the longest, man. I think my first video about him was in like 2018 or early 2019. Y'all can go back and look, bro. I've been doing videos about this nigga for a minute. Like I said, like he just said, and like I just said before he said it, go tap into that MVP, man. My favorite song is I'm Just Playing. I'm going MVP. I got like... I always feel like I had pockets, you know what I mean? I got a lot of different pockets. I can jump in and out of bags, you know what I mean? Like, growing up, I could rap off different type of beats my whole life. It was easy, you know? That's real shit, because MVP don't sound nothing like the coochie shit. I mean, it wasn't that hard to catch beats, you know what I mean? But I caught on, like, I did, I rapped off energy. I started rapping off energy beats. Like... 10 months ago. I was about to say at least a year ago because I don't think he had no energy beats on MVP and motherfuckers was fucking with that shit. That shit was hard. You know what I mean? It wasn't that long ago. Energy been making beats for a while now, but like, I had to figure it out. You know what I mean? I just like mastered it. I feel like, and I still haven't mastered it for real, but I just started mastering his beats like three months ago, two months ago. I learned how to freestyle, punch in, like, and now I don't, like, I've been having right nothing, but now it sound crazy, now it sound nice, like, it's really hard, and it's freestyle, so it's like, I caught I call my way, so it's like, it's on the flow. Really. What, what made you go with, uh, I mean, like, why you feel like you and energy uh, and chemistry is so good together? Energy Beats is so fire. I ain't heard no trash shit from Energy. Energy Beats be cold. I heard some beats from him, like, maybe like a year or two ago, probably like a year ago, and his sound has evolved, but he ain't never been a trash producer. He always been a dope-ass producer. It's, man, I don't know, man. It's something sweet. It's something spiritual with us, man. That shit crazy, dog. It's something like, oh, it's like when I hear his beats, his beats be talking to me for real. Like, you know how people can say beats talk to you? Like, this for, like, it ain't, it ain't this for real. Like, it be, his beats tell me what to say. Like, I don't really got to think too much. I just say whatever, however I feel, whatever. You know what I mean? Because when I punch in, you got to think about it. How my producers, how my engineers record me, they record, I say a bar. As soon as I say a bar, they cut it, drag it down. But I, and, and 
less than two seconds, they bring it right back. Press record. By the time we get past that bar, I say another bar. But everything I'm saying, freestyle. But I'm not just keep. I don't just freestyle verses. I just freestyle bar for bar. You know what I mean? I'd rather do that than write because freestyling, like writing. First of all, writing is just take up too much time. And then I noticed because I've been in the studio with a lot of different rappers. I ain't never been in the studio with them, but a lot of rappers I see when they read what they wrote, it sound kind of like they read versus. Just getting in the booth and just spitting that shit. It actually sounds like a rap. Energy beats. It's easy for me to punch in bar for bar. I feel like that's a key with my style. And if people didn't know that, that's a key. You know what I mean? That's something that I do. That's free something game. that I use. It's free game. <laughs> hey, man. That was the end of part four. I'm going to be bringing y'all part five real soon. Hey, one thing I noticed is... He real good with talking, and that's a plus because interviews would be boring as hell if the artist is not good with talking. So, shout out to YJ for knowing how to hold a conversation and conduct. Unlike a lot of rappers, I be watching a lot of rappers' interviews, man, they shit be trash. But look, YJ, as we speak, is in the studio in Miami, I believe. I believe. I'm not sure, but uh, with, I know he with Trippy Red right now, so. We, you never know what's going to come out of that studio session. You know, Trippy Red got different pockets he can get in. YJ got different styles. He got the MVP style. He got the Coochie style. And he got other styles that he ain't put out yet for the world to hear. So we never know what we're going to expect from YJ and Trippy Red. But just know something's about to happen. YJ, Trippy Red, Midwest Connection, Michigan and Ohio. You never know what the fuck gonna go down in that studio session you don't know who gonna pull up you don't know who gonna sh you never know who gonna pull up show up lay down verses and anything man so shout out to YNJ shout out to Louis Ray Coochie biggest song in the fucking world right now shout out to Slap Savage up and coming artist for my city I reviewed a couple of his songs I still gotta review some more shit that he got and uh shout out to Trippy Red man and shout out to K-Suave man Okay. Okay. okay, no. Yeah, I know you got it. Uh, what? Yeah, what? Uh, okay, now stop playing with him now. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 now. okay, okay. Right now, look. Okay, woo, and a, mm, okay. Strong. Viral, nigga. Uh, she won't.